Hello Gianluca, welcome back to Romania. You've been here before, uh, you've been to the seaside before, so you know the place, you know the music-loving crowds. What do you think about Romania and Romanians in general? I think, that, I think that, I mean, for my experience, I've, I've always met people that want to have fun and love any kind of music and any kind, I mean, and good energy. They want to they wanna share good vibes. I'm happy to be here. Now, there's a strong link between Romanians and Italians. We share common ancestors, the Romans. Uh, our languages are pretty similar, so... And there's a pretty strong Italian community in Romania and a strong Romanian community in Italy. Do you feel at home here? Do you... I, 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 feel, I feel well. I, I, mean, I always meet kind people, which I, I feel home wherever I find kind people. But here in Romania, I always feel at home. Now, as a DJ, uh, you contradict almost all the rules. Now, if you ask any international DJ, he'll say, well, it's been long years of hard work until I got here. You only started DJing about five years ago, a little time before that, your uh, social media, three years ago. <laughs> uh, and uh, your social media took off before that. Um, how, how did that happen? In the, reality, in the reality, I come from a family of artists uh, and part of them were musicians. And I started playing piano at six years, when I was six years old and I always had a passion for music. I just revealed to the public when I was 48 years old. So, uh, and then I, I, I mean, I studied a lot to do it. You know. Of course, being popular helped to get to some places, but then you have to stay on those places because you're able to entertain people with music. Exactly, because it's it's very hard to achieve success, but it's even harder to keep being successful. Of course, yes. And yeah. that takes a lot of hard work. Do you yeah. train as a DJ? Of course. I trained a lot and I train a lot. I, I spend so much time in the studio producing. I mean, music is, is, is part of my life. It's uh, you come uh, from a, a family with... Uh, um, pretty well off material system you are uh, you come from a, a family of rich people uh, most people that come from such p uh, families uh, usually take it easy you know they don't have a hard life were you a spoiled brat as a kid in the reality I made my richness uh, so it's not like uh, you know I came from a from a healthy family but not very healthy family a normal healthy family in Italy and I made my own way because I, I, I was and I am an entrepreneur because I, until the point you own companies you are an entrepreneur even if you don't manage your company you're just a shareholder so I made my own way and I worked hard very hard up to the 46 then I decided that I didn't have any reason of curiosity in my life and I decided to explore the chance to have a second life, which is the biggest privilege that a man can have. You're very right and uh, that is something that most people that uh, achieve wealthiness through their own business don't do. They just seem very eager to keep on earning money to amass more power. Uh, did you feel any regret giving up on some of your business life? No, I don't feel regret in anything uh, I've done in my life. Uh, but now I simply think that, uh, that, that the moment's bank account is the only one where I, I really want to be rich. You know what I mean? So uh, the moments in your life, the time of your life, the, the fun in your life, that's what you're amassing right now, not Yes, about. good vibes. In general, good energy, good vibes. This is, this is what I'm... My target is that, you know, for me and for people that are around me. Now, you're Italian, you're wealthy. I gotta ask, have you ever encountered the mafiosi, the Italian mafia? How are they? No, I mean... No. And, 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 and in Italy, all people are very kind, you know, very open, very... It's, it's more a legend, you know. It's, I mean, it's, it, everyone knows that there is, but you know, if you live your life and you don't bother people, people don't bother you. You said you renounced some of your business, but are you still a businessman? Do you still trade? Do you? No, I didn't renounce to any. I just to the shareholder in the sense that I'm um, 
board member of the companies that I own with my cousin. He manages the companies. And uh, I mean, my company is, is listed on the stock exchange and, I, and I, it's going well, it's growing a lot and I'm, I'm still keeping in my in my wallet because it's a good investment. <laughs> Do you see uh, yourself and your public persona right now as a business? Do you have a business plan for yourself? Yes. Yes, yes. I want to I wanna do something that is, you know, um, I'm, I'm studying many, many things in, in, the, in the world of wellness, of like, uh, like to be healthy, in good shape, uh, and because it's, if, if you want to have success, you got to be coherent. So people are watching me uh, in, 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 in even because I'm, fi I'm almost 52 and I'm, and I'm in good shape and I keep going on, I keep going on training, eating well, and, and I want to do something now in that kind of, of sector. Well, to keep a healthy lifestyle, one of the most important things you got to do is sleep. And for a DJ to No, sleep? but I, unfortunately, or fortunately, or fortunately, because you have to understand that we live on average 78 years and we spend almost 28 years sleeping, which is one third of our life. And, and so not sleeping is not unfortunate, but it is something, luckily, I sleep only like three or... For example, tonight, I finished my DJ set last night in, in a big venue in Italy that was like 6.30, and I went to sleep 8.30, and now I'm here, so. And you're okay? Oh, I'm super okay. I'm, 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 I'm only sad because I have to play one hour and a half and not five hours. <laughs> uh, are you leaving immediately after that? Are there no, I think I want to stay here, and I'm leaving tomorrow morning. Cool, so any artists in t today's lineup you want to see? Uh, probably, yes. Probably, let's see, let's see how I feel after, but you know, um, Bass Jackers probably is a friend. I don't know if it was, it was in the lineup, uh, DJ Snake, I don't know if he's still... No, unfortunately he had to cancel okay. because okay. of personal reasons. Okay, so, he's, a, yeah. he's, a, he's a friend, but anyways, I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna stay here, join the, 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 the atmosphere and, and see the others. Okay, the, these final two questions are a, sweat, a set of questions that we asked all the artists that came to Never See Stories yeah. this year. First one, in your opinion, what is the best song in the world for having sex? Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Well, a man you know, of your experience, I mean, no, I know but you I, have, no, you but have I, No, but I want to tell you a secret, you know, when I, when I have sex and sometimes it happened in my life, like in yours, I suppose, I don't like music. Really, because I, I, I love to like listen and, and, and to every like bre every breath, every word. So I, I'm not. It's a question that I. It's not my question. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a music lover when I when I have a passional moment. <laughs> it's no problem. I mean, no music in sex is a good song for sex. I think. Yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> um, and the final question is, what is the best advice you ever got in your life and who gave that to you? Um, my father always used to say to me that the, the, the best people don't need a contract because people look for him. And so, you know, I just, I'm just based on my capacity and I never look for something granted, you know what I mean? And then believing in dreams, you know, which is something that I always tell to people. Believe in dreams and, and, and because if, 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 the, if the mind dreams is because dreams are achievable at the end of the day, you know. So was becoming a DJ, a world-renowned DJ, one of your dreams? Yes, in the last five years, yes. Maybe it's not gonna be in the next five. Maybe I, well, maybe I, I want to have a third life like an actor. I don't know. But you know, the thing is, I think that you're very, you're really rich in life when you can decide what you do the day after. You know. So I'm, I'm I don't want to say that this life is the one that I want to do in the next ten years because I'm ready to change my mind. And you're able to. I, I try. I try to do my best. <laughs>